What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a 50 minute full body reformer Pilates workout. If we've not met before, hi, I'm Margaret, I'm 26, and I'm a certified Pilates instructor. You don't need any additional equipment for this workout, just your reformer. And as a heads up, we are going to be doing some standing up on the carriage, some Russian splits. If that's not your vibe, you can totally skip over it. We'll go ahead and get started. Bring your foot bar into a neutral position. We'll be on one red spring or your heaviest spring, just one of those. We'll flip towards the front of the machine and I want you to take your feet to the platform about hips distance apart. Hands will come right to the hamstrings. I want you to open the elbows out nice and wide, sit up tall, reaching the crown of the head up, rolling the shoulders down and back. From right here, we'll just take an inhale, sit up tall, breathe in through the nose, fill the body up with air. Exhale out, we'll let things go. Good, for three more, it's a big inhale. And then exhale out, we'll let it go. Good, for two, big inhale. And then exhale out, let it go. This will be our last one, big inhale. And then exhale out, let it go. Good, with that last one, let's add on some movement. Big inhale up at the top, drawing in from the center of the body, breathing in through the nose, expanding through the rib cage from side to side. We'll exhale, draw in through the belly button. I want you to come into this big C curve through your spine. Good, you'll find a point that you physically cannot go down anymore. Inhale right there and then exhale, roll it all the way back up. We'll just do three more like that. We roll it down. Good, elbows pulling out towards the edges of your machine. Inhale and then exhale, take it right back up. Good, we'll go for a three. And you don't have to come down super far. That's not the point of this one. I just want you to really warm up through your spine, get some good warm up breaths in so you set yourself up for success. Good, let's go for one more. It's a roll back. Good, and then we come all the way back up. Good, once you come up out of that, I want you to scoot forward towards the front edge of your machine. Your hips are pretty close there to the front edge. Your hands are going to reach right to the edge of your carriage, right about where your knuckles are. It's gonna press into your carriage. And then from here, I want you to walk away a little bit from uh, the top of your machine so that we can walk the balls of the feet up towards our fit bar, pull the heels together, creating a V position with the feet, and then bend at the knees, pull yourself in as much as is comfortable. From here, we're drawing in through the belly button. We're creating that big C curve, pressing hands into the carriage, carriage into the hands. You give me a big exhale, press away from the fit bar, squeeze the legs together. Inhale, we bend at the knees. You start to pull the carriage back in. Stomach massage. We press away. And then we'll bring it back in. Good. And you just keep breathing right here. Good. Your gaze is down, but still a little bit forward. I'm aiming my gaze right towards my knees as I'm pressing out with the legs straight. Good, let's go for four more. It'll be four. Keep pressing those heels together for three. For two. Last one, you press out and hold. I want you to keep this big curve through your spine. You're looking towards the tops of the knees. We inhale, push the heels forward underneath the foot bar. Exhale, press into the balls of the feet. Lift the heels up for six more. We lower and lift for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, lift the heels, squeeze the heels together. We bend at the knees, you'll pull everything right back in. If you need a moment, you're gonna take a moment. If not, we're heading right into our next exercise. Big exhale, you're pressing away from the foot bar, lifting the left hand off of the foot bar. You're going to open out towards the side of the room, reaching the left fingertips back. Good, we inhale here, exhale, we bend at the knees, you'll pull that left hand back in. Same thing on the right, we press away, open up through that right side. I'll say extending the spine almost. We pull things right back in, coming back into that big C curve. You keep moving like this, reaching out on the left and then pulling things in. We go out on the right and then we take it in. Let's go for four more each side for four. And four. 
Good, we'll go for three. And three. For two. And two. Last one. Ooh. And then last one. Good, we'll take it through center. Hands come back where they're at. We're pressing things out. I want you to bend your right knee, press the left heel down, pull things together. Same thing on the opposite side, bending the left knee, pressing the right heel down. You're holding in this big C curve, holding in your spinal flexion, prancing out through the feet. If it's a little bit tight on the hip flexors, just pull it in, take a moment to breathe instead. We'll hang out here just for five, four, three, two and one good bring those heels together bend at the knees pull the carriage all the way home awesome from right here take your foot bar let's drop it all the way down so that it's out of the way and we'll change up our springs your lightest spring or one yellow spring if you've got a yellow spring okay go ahead and pop off that red spring we're going to come on to our left hip and I want you to kind of scoot yourself around so the hips can be back. Your bottom knee is on the carriage. We'll stack hips, knees, and feet. You're coming down onto your left forearm, wherever it's comfortable. I'm gonna go kind of like diagonally so that my elbow's still on the carriage, but my hand's on the headrest, reaching for this front peg. From right here, grab onto your short loop, take it into your right hand. You're gonna pull that carriage open and pull the elbow towards the rib cage. Your palm faces down towards the front edge of your machine. You'll take an exhale, press the right arm to straight. Inhale, bend at the elbow, take things right back in. It's just a bend and press. We press out to straight. We'll bend at the elbow, take it home. Press out, take it in. Now, if you feel like you don't wanna be propped up on the forearm, that's okay. You can lay all the way down onto your carriage, taking the head between the shoulder blocks. Good, and we just keep moving like this. We press it out and then bring it in. Let's go for three more because we're gonna hit a lot of triceps right here. That's three, we'll go two, and then last one, press the arm to straight, hold it right there. I want you to inhale, reach that right arm forward. Exhale, you're pressing back, hip towards, or hand towards the hip. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, you're pressing back. Good. Now, if you'd like to stay right here, you get to stay right here. If you're ready to do a little bit more, next time that your arm reaches out in front of you, you want to pause. You'll reach the right leg out. So your leg goes out in line with your hip. We'll take a big exhale, bend the right knee in as we sweep our right hand down towards the hip. Inhale, you reach the right leg out as you reach the arm forward. Big exhale, we pull it in. Inhale, you reach things out. Little combo arm and leg movement here. Pull it in, reach it out. Good, let's go for four. This will be three. For two. <laughs> and then last one. Good, with that last one, everything is going to come in. I want you to hang up that long loop for just a moment. We're going to press up off of the forearm. You may wanna scoot forward just a little bit more. Your left hand is going to come to your headrest, and then we're grabbing back onto our short loop. You can go long loop too, just make that decision once we get into it. We'll take the right arm, you're going to lift it up so that your palm faces up to the ceiling, your elbows pointing out towards the front edge of your machine. Our spring is open and I want you to hold, hold your right hand here. We press into that left hand, you're just going to lift the hip. So look at you, you came into a side plank. Inhale, we drop the hips back down. You're doing six more like that, it's six. And lower. For five, keep that carriage still. For four, for three, two, last one, we press up and hold. It's gonna be an exhale, press that right arm to straight. Inhale, bend at the elbow, take things in. We press it to straight, we pull it back in. If you wanna do more right here, you press the feet together, okay? As you press your right arm to straight, you're opening up through that right leg and then you pull the legs together, bend at the elbow. 
I did not say this class was going to be fun. It's going to be a big challenge through and through. So just stick with me. If there are spots that feel a little bit sticky or that you don't like so much, that's okay. You don't have to do it. Let's just go for two more. It's two. And then last one. Good, with that last one, your hips coming all the way down to the mat, you're hanging up your long loop onto your peg, coming up off of the left wrist, giving it a little shake, a little roll. Okay, from right here, we're just gonna swing the legs around. We turn towards the back of the machine. Your feet are coming towards the mat. You're straddling your machine. All right, from right here, both hands come to the shoulder plex. I'm sure your right shoulder feels like it's gonna fall off. It's gonna be okay. I promise, hands come to the shoulder blocks. We're going to lift the hips. Give me a big inhale, hinge forward at the hips to press the carriage out. And you can press your chest down towards the carriage, extending through the spine, maybe looking up towards the back of your machine, towards your risers. Good, big exhale. We're going to curve the spine up as we pull the carriage in, shoulder blocks underneath the shoulders. Good, let's just do two more like that. We press it out. You can extend the spine. Exhale, we bring it up and in. Good, last one, we press it out. And then we'll bring it up and in. Good, with that last one, you can sit your hips all the way back down to the carriage. Make sure that carriage does pull all the way home. We're pressing the hips, or not the hips, the feet down into our mat. Hands can come to your hips and you're just gonna exhale, lift your hips up. So you're in a squat, you're gonna lower back down. And you can stop right here every single time. We're just gonna lift and we lower for six more at six for five, four. Now, if this isn't gonna work straddling your machine, just come off and do this on the side of your machine. Two, last one, you hold it low, hovering the hips right above the carriage, pressing down into the heels. We're pulsing 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, you can sit your hips all the way down. When you're ready, we're going right back in. Six reps of squats, and then we'll hold it down. We press into the heels. You lift up and lower. That's six, five, four, for three, two. Last one, we take it low. You hold it right here. Hands come behind your head. We'll do three reps each side, going up and over, right elbow towards the right knee. Exhale, we take it in to the left. We go left elbow to left knee. Exhale, take it in for two more. We go to the right and then to the left. One more to the right and then to the left. Good, everything comes back down to the carriage. Drop your hands, take a moment, take a breath. One more time through with that. It's six reps of squats and then we're holding low. Okay, press down into your heels. We'll lift the hips. We lower the hips, that's six. For five, for four, good. For three, it's two. Last one, we hold it low. Hips are hovering over the carriage. You're reaching the arms up overhead. We take an inhale, go up and over towards the right. Left arm reaches, right arm is going to reach for that left knee. Exhale, take it back to center. Inhale, same thing the opposite way. Reaching the right arm up and over, reaching the left hand towards the right knee. Exhale, we take it in for two more to the right. Whew. And to the left. We go one more to the right and then to the left. Good, everything comes down, sit back onto your carriage, ouch on the inner thighs, that was sneaky. I know it was sneaky, I know it was. Okay, we're staying in this straddle stance. If it's not going to work for you, I want you to come up onto your carriage instead, pressing both of your um, quads up against the shoulder blocks, okay? From right here, whew. Take a moment, take a breath. We're going to grab onto the rope that is on the right side. Cross that short loop over into your left hand, okay? We're going to lift the hips up off of the carriage and you can come up pretty high, squeezing the sides of your frame with your calves. We'll reach the arms out in front of us and then take a big exhale. You pull back through the left elbow. Inhale, you'll reach it forward. I feel like we've done this the last three weeks, so we should know this one pretty well. Keep your hips still, keep the hips pointed forward. 
Okay, we're not doing a lot. It's going to be four for three. For two. And then last one, you reach things forward. If you need to drop your hips down, go ahead and drop them down. If you're feeling good, stay right here. We keep the short loop in our left hand. You're reaching both arms out in front of you. It'll be a bicep curl for eight. And then reach it out. If you need more tension, you get to scoot back. Isn't that fun? For seven. For six. Keep it nice and slow for five. You got this for three, two, last one. Good, arms reach out in front. Again, you can take a seat if you need to. Take a deep breath. One more thing we're doing here. It's gonna be another row. You're just taking that left elbow out in line with the shoulder. Once you're ready, you're lifting back up. Maybe you wanna come low into your squat. Hey, if you want to, go for it. Arms are going to reach out in front of you. We can keep the right arm still. You'll exhale, pull back on that left side. Elbow comes in line with the shoulder. Inhale to reach things forward. It's an exhale, we pull it back. Inhale, we take it in. If you'd like to mirror with the right side, go for it. Sometimes that's helpful for five. Good for four. Whoo, for three. Two. Last one. Good, everything goes forward. Take a seat onto the carriage. Take a moment, take a breath. Okay, shake it out. You're gonna make it. We're hitting those same three exercises over on the other side before we flip up and around to hit our other, other stuff. I'm gonna call it side plank stuff, but to hit all of that other stuff. Okay, when you're ready, you take as much time as you need. Your loop that's on the left side is crossing over into your right hand. Okay, we're going to lift the hips up off of the carriage. You can come up pretty high, squeezing the sides of your machine with your calves. Arms out in front of you. We'll keep the left arm still. It's an exhale, pull back on the right side. Inhale, you reach the right arm forward. Good, we pull it back and then you'll reach it forward. Ooh, there we go for six. Good, try not to let the carriage crash home for five. For four. Three. Two. Last one, we reach things forward. Okay, take a moment, take a breath. Your loop is staying in your right hand. Left arm can reach out in front of you. It's an exhale, bend at the elbows, bicep curl. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Good, bend it in. And then reach it forward for six more. It's six. If you need less tension, grab for that long loop. <sighs> that didn't sound good for five. Four, three, oh, I'm struggling. Whew, for two. And then last one. Ooh, bicep curls are always so hard for me. Take a moment, take a breath. If you need to sit down, take a seat. We're doing, again, our high, <coughs> excuse me, our high row pulling back on that right, um, right side, bringing the elbow in line with the shoulder. Whenever you're ready, you can go right into it. If you want to do more reps than me, hey, I'm all about it. When you're ready, we lift things up. You can reach the left arm out in front of you. It's a big exhale. We bend at the right elbow, pulling back in line with the shoulder. Inhale, you reach forward. And I'm going to mirror with my left arm just because that makes me feel good and then bring it back, that's six for five, four, three, two, and then last one. Oh my gosh, okay. Everything sits down, you're going to hang up your long loop. Okay, take a moment, take a breath. For one more round, we're gonna go through our, our kind of assisted cat-cow is what I'll call it. Hands come to the shoulder blocks, you're pressing into the heels, lifting the hips. It'll be an inhale to hinge at the hips, pressing the carriage forward. You can press your chest down towards your mat, maybe pointing your gaze up just a little bit, finding some spinal extension. When you're ready, we let the carriage pull us home as we curve the spine up, pointing the crown of the head down. 
for two more. We press it out and then we'll bring it in. One more, we go out, keep breathing, and then we'll take it in. Good, with that last one, your hips come all the way down to the mat. We'll take a little shake of the shoulders, take a deep breath, and then when you're ready, we're bringing the right leg over to meet the left. We'll set up to do our same exercises over on the other side. We'll scoot uh, the right hip pretty close towards the back edge of the machine, and then you're coming down onto your right forearm. Remember, I'm kind of going diagonally with my elbow right behind this shoulder block, reaching my right fingertips towards the peg. You'll grab onto your short loop with your left hand, squeeze the hips, knees, and ankles together. We'll press open that spring and then pull the left elbow in towards the rib cage. It's an exhale to press the left hand out to straight and inhale to bend at the elbow, take things back in. It's just a triceps press, pressing out and then pulling it in. Now you'll notice right away, now that we're getting into kind of the same things on the second side and we've done some arm work in between, things will more than likely feel super different and that's okay. That's very normal. I feel like I say that with you guys every single class. Let's do four more. It's four. For three. For two. And then last one, you're pressing the right arm to straight. You're holding it right there. Oh, sorry, the left arm, my bad. You're gonna inhale, pull that left arm forward. So it comes just in line with the shoulder and then big exhale, you're squeezing from the lats right underneath the armpits to press the hand down. Inhale, we bring it forward. Exhale, you take it back. Now, same thing with that first side. If you'd like to come all the way down onto your right side and take it from there, you absolutely can. If you're ready to do more, next time your left arm reaches forward, let's kick that left leg out so it goes in line with the hip. Big exhale, you bend at the left knee as you press your hand towards your hip. Inhale, you reach the left leg out as you reach the arm forward. And you'll keep moving from here. We take it in and then we'll reach things out. Let's go for four more because my shoulder's feeling toasty for four. Whew. <laughs> Good, this is gonna be three. We bring it in, sweep it back. Good for two. Whew. And then last one. Good, with that last one, everything is coming in. You can hang up your long loop just for a moment so we can get a second to readjust. Shake out through that left shoulder because it's only going to continue. Again, we're getting more triceps. When you're ready, you can scoot a little bit closer towards your shoulder blocks. Your right hand is going to find your headrest. Hopefully that headrest is down. It, it should still be down. We're grabbing back onto our short loop. You're taking that loop into your left hand and then opening up your spring as you lift that left arm up overhead, we'll bend at the elbow. So we're in this, um, you know, bent, bent elbow, like the starting point of a triceps press. Sorry, when you're ready, keep that spring open, keep the carriage still. You're going to exhale, lift up through that right hip. Inhale, you take it back down. Good, we'll lift up. And then we lower down just for four more. It's four. For three. For two, last one, you lift up, you hold it right here, keeping that right hip lifted, you exhale, press the left arm to straight, inhale, you bend at the elbow, take it in. We press out and take it in. If you can do more as you press that left arm out, you open up through the left leg and then bend the elbow, pull it back in. You're doing that four more times for four, For three, you're going for two, you got it. And then last one, awesome. With that last one, everything comes down. You're hanging up your long loop and then coming up off of the right wrist, give your wrist a little bit of a roll, a little bit of a shake, okay? We'll keep things moving. You're going to change up your springs. We're going back to one red spring or one heavy spring 
whatever you've got. Just hook that back on. We'll pop the yellow spring off. Um, and I'm going pretty conservative on this one. I like a red spring for these exercises, but if you want more, you can always add on a yellow spring or add on a green spring. I'll leave that up to you. Foot bar is coming back up into neutral. So however your foot bar lifts up, go ahead and bring it there. And then whew, we'll take a moment, take a breath. We're going to pop up and around. So we come into a four point kneeling position. Knees are going down towards the back edge of the machine. And I'm gonna set you guys up on the forearms here. If you'd prefer to be on your hands, go for it. Totally. I'm gonna go forearms down and make a little tripod for myself with the hands on the headrest, the elbows just behind the shoulder blocks. We'll take a moment, take a breath. <laughs> Left knee's going to stay down, right heel's going to find its way towards the foot bar, right toes pointing down towards the platform. It's going to be a big exhale as you press the carriage away. You'll inhale to bend at the right knee, you slowly pull the carriage back in. Big exhale, you press out. Inhale, you bend at the knee, you take things home. And we'll just keep moving like this. Now, you'll kind of know with the first couple of reps if you need more tension. Again, like I said, I like a red spring. When I go too heavy right here, I just feel it all in my shoulders and that's not the goal. Not the goal. But no matter where you're at, you're imagining that you're holding in a plank. You're pressing up and away from the machine, keeping shoulders stacked on top of elbows or wrists. Good. Okay, another good way to do this is the left forearm down, the right hand down. That opens you up a little bit. Creates a challenge though, because I want you to keep your right hip pointed down to the mat instead of opening up. And this will open up your shoulders, okay? So pick your poison, whatever you feel like you can maintain. That's where you're going for four. For three. For two. And then last one, I want you to pull that carriage about halfway in, press down into your heel, you're pulsing up one inch and down one inch. Good, for nine, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, last one, we press the carriage all the way out and then you'll pull things all the way back in. Right knee can come down for a second. You can press up off of the forearms, take a breath. I know it's a lot on the shoulders. It's a lot on the triceps. So you take as much time as you need to pause wherever you need to, okay? Little shake. When you're ready, we're doing one more variation still on that right leg. We're just going to externally rotate, turning those toes out and the heel in. Okay, so when you're ready, take your time, take your time. I get it. These are one of my least favorite exercises. That's why I've been like avoiding doing them uh, in our classes, but they're good for us. It's good to work the posterior chain. Okay, right heel comes back to the foot bar. I actually want you to open it out just a little bit. You're going to turn your toes out and your heel in. And actually I'm gonna reach towards the corner of my foot bar. If you'd like to keep the left forearm down, right hand down, and let's take it right here. Big exhale, you press away from the foot bar Inhale, you'll bend at the right knee. You pull things back in. It's an exhale, you press things out. Now your hips are opened up. Okay, so it's gonna feel different and that's good, it should feel different. If you need more tension, you can always pop on some additional resistance. Good, let's go for about six more. Can you tell this is not what I had originally planned, but it did feel good, so we're going for it. Now, I think I said six, but now I'm not sure, but let's call that four, three, two, and then last one, you're pulling that carriage about halfway in, pressing down into your right heel. It's a little pulse up, a little pull down for nine. Ooh, for eight. Ouch, I feel this all on the left side, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Let's press that carriage all the way out and then slowly go ahead and pull things in. Take a moment, take a breath. Right knee comes down to the carriage. You're going to pop up off of that left forearm, shake things out. 
take a deep breath. You're doing so good. So, so good. Okay. From right here, I want you to reach your hands towards the shoulder blocks. You're going to step your left foot forward so that your toes are just in line with your shoulder blocks. I'd say probably toes on the headrest, heel on the carriage. Your right foot is back on the platform. You're going to pop yourself up into a lunge. And then if you're comfortable here, we're going to walk the right toes up towards the foot bar. Okay. From right here, all you're going to do is press the left leg out to straight. You'll exhale, bend at the left knee, pull things back in. It's an exhale to press things out and inhale to bend at the knee, pull it in. If that's not comfortable, or if you would prefer to just be down on your platform, you do the same thing. You press out, you pull it in. Okay. It's totally up to you. If you're like me and you get really sweaty hands, you might want to grab a towel so that you have uh, some buffer between you and your likely leather carriage. Good. Okay. We're going to add on to this. Next time you press the left leg out to straight, I want you to press down into your left heel, press down into the ball of the right foot. Big exhale. We're going to lift the hips up, point the crown of the head down. Maybe the carriage pulls all the way in and then inhale. You reach things right back out. Okay. We'll do about four more like that. Big exhale. You lift the hips. Inhale. We slide it right back out. Good. You're going for three. Try to soften up through the knees. I know it's tricky. I lock out my knees too. This is going to be two. And then last one. Good. With that last one, your right foot is going to walk onto the carriage. So we have two feet on the carriage, two hands on the shoulder blocks. Take a second, take a breath. Now I'm going to say right now, if it makes you nervous to stand on the carriage, maybe watch this for a second and then decide if you want to get into it. If it's not for you, you're going to do the same exact movement from down on the ground. Okay. Left foot is going to stay forward. Right foot is going to step back again, both feet on the carriage. You're reaching down for your short loops. And I'm actually going to scoot my left foot forward a little bit right here. Grab onto your short loops, or you can grab up a little bit higher on your ropes and then pull on your ropes so that you can come up to stand. Okay. We're up on the toes on our right foot. You've got a little bend at the right knee. I want you to take an inhale hinge at your hips, slight bend at that left knee, push the ropes down towards your carriage and then exhale, press into the left heel. You're coming back up to stand. Good. We're not doing a lot of these. It's just going to be ooh, about six. This is six for five. The carriage should stay pretty still for four. Good. Keep breathing for three. For two. Ooh, am I getting cut out? I think I am. Ah, oh, well, last one. We hint it forward. We'll bring everything right back in. Good. From there, very carefully, you can drop your right knee down to the carriage, hang up those long leaps, and then step your left knee back to meet your right. Take a moment, shake out through the wrist, shake out through the shoulders. Nice deep breaths. Whew. Okay. We're doing the same exact thing on the other side. That's the good news. Now you know what's coming. You know what to expect. You kind of already know what adjustments you might need to make if you want to change your resistance. Go for it. It's not going to make you lopsided. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. When you're ready, we're scooting the knees back towards the front edge of our machine. Our forearms are coming back down to the carriage. You're creating that little tripod for yourself. You can interlace the fingers together, open those elbows out about, you know, shoulder distance apart. Right knee stays down. Left heel comes to the foot bar. You're pointing the left toes down. As you exhale, you press the carriage away. You'll inhale to bend at the left knee and take the carriage home. And you'll keep moving like that. Big exhale, you press away. Inhale, you'll bend at the knee, take things home. Good. Press away. And then pull things in. You keep it moving like this. I know for me, the second side always feels like, I don't want to say impossible because it's not, but it feels impossible. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to make it through all of this on the second side. Let's go for four more. It's four. For three. For two. 
And then the last one, you're pulling the carriage just about halfway in, keeping that spring open, pressing into the left heel. You pulse up one inch, you lower down one inch. That's 10, nine, good for eight. We'll go seven. Good, press up and away from that carriage. You've got it, five, four, three, two, and last one. You press the carriage all the way out, pull everything in, dropping the left knee down. You can bring the foot off of the foot bar. Take a moment, take a little child's pose. Maybe your hips hit the foot bar, it's okay. It's okay. When you're ready, same exact thing on the, on, uh, what was I gonna say? Same thing that we did on the first side. We're going to take the left foot out towards the corner of the foot bar. And because I liked what we did on the first side, let's keep the right forearm down. Take the left hand down to your mat. Move my hair out of the way. Long hair is so annoying, agree or disagree. Left heel comes out to the corner of the foot bar. Your heels on the foot bar, your toes are probably right at the edge of your foot bar. It's a big exhale, we press away. Inhale, you bend at the knee, you pull things back in. Big exhale, you press out. Inhale, you take things in. Now we're trying to keep that right hip still. So if you're pressing out and you feel your hip is pulling back towards the foot bar, or if you feel like you're, uh, you know, you're pushing the carriage out away from you a little bit too far, then, you know, just don't go as far. <laughs> That's my technical professional advice. We're going for four more. It's four for three. Two, last one, and we'll bring that carriage in about halfway. You're pulsing up one inch, down another inch. Now, do you just feel this in your right hip, or do you feel it in your left? For me, it's all right, because <laughs> that's our stabilizer, so it's not wrong if that's where you feel it. Six, you're going five, four, Three, two, last one. You drive that carriage out, flush out the leg, and then pull everything right back in. You're pulling the left knee down. You can um, bring the feet onto your platform, reach your hips towards your heels. Take a little child's pose of sorts. Good. Okay, now when you're ready, if you're ready, we're keeping the left foot back on the platform. Hands are coming to the shoulder blocks. Your right foot is stepping forward. Again, ball of the foot's probably gonna be on the headrest. Your heel's probably going to be back on your carriage. If your hands are a little bit sweaty, if you're like me and you're just like a, a nervous sweater, maybe <laughs> grab onto a towel. Um, we're keeping the left foot on the platform just to pop ourselves up right here. And then if you're comfortable right here, we walk those left toes up towards the foot bar. From here, you press your right leg out to straight, and then you'll exhale, bend at the knee, take things right back in. That's all, you press it out. Good, and then bring it in. I say that's all as I'm up in a split with my foot on the foot bar. <laughs> if that's not like true Pilates instructor energy, I don't know what is. If you'd like to take your foot down to the uh, platform, go ahead and bring it there. We go forward and back. <laughs> I always say, oh, that, that's all it is. That's all it is. And it's always like the most complicated thing ever. I'm like trying to get you to, to basically fold in half or fold like a pretzel. Good. Okay, next time that you press that right leg out to straight, pause it right there. We take an exhale, lift the hips up, two straight legs, point the crown of the head down. Good, we inhale, reach it forward. This one's called a Russian split. Did I say that on the first side? Good. Okay, let's just go for three more. It's three. For two, oh my gosh, I'm feeling so sweaty. <laughs> Nothing like doing a reformer workout, talking through it and having two ring lights on. This will be our last one, lift the hips up. Good, bring the carriage all the way in and make sure it closes all of the way. Your left foot can step to the carriage and again, if you're not comfortable standing on your carriage, go ahead and pop off. You'll just do the same hip hinge movement with both feet on a solid surface. Okay, wipe your hands off on your leggings to get some excess sweat off. We're keeping the right foot where it's at. Left foot stepping back. I'd say reach it towards the left corner of your carriage and then grab onto your short loops. Be very careful right here. I'm grabbing on just below the D clip on mine. 
We've got a bend at our left knee, a little bend at the right knee. We're lifted up onto those left toes and you pull the ropes back so your spring is open. It's an inhale to send the hips back as you hinge forward and then exhale, press into that right heel. You come all the way up to stand and you just keep moving like that. We hinge it forward, nice flat back. You'll exhale, press into the right heel. You come back up. Good, we're not gonna do a lot. It's ooh, just gonna be about five more. This is five. For four. For three. Two. And then last one. Ooh, good, stand all the way up very carefully. Let the carriage pull home, hang up the long loops, bring your hands to the shoulder blocks, and then take the left knee down. Bring the right knee down to meet it. Take a child's pose wherever it's gonna be comfortable for you, hips to heels, arms can go in front of you. Take a couple moments, take some breaths. You're doing so, so good. So, so good, okay? We just have a little bit more to go here and then you're going to be done with me. That is the good news. It's always the good news. From right here, we're just gonna work through a little bit of, you know, upper body planky kind of work, okay? We're going to turn towards the front of our machine. You can stay on this one red spring. Feet are coming up against your shoulder blocks. Your hands are coming to the foot bar about shoulder distance apart. I want you to press away from your foot bar, pressing your chest down towards your springs. You maintain one line from your knee to your hip, to your shoulders, to the crown of the head. Now keeping the arms straight, it's a big exhale as we pull the carriage in, lifting the chest, lifting the gaze. Again, coming into a little bit of spinal extension. Good, okay, we're going to press the carriage back. And then we bring it right back in. Good, let's go for two more, it's two. And then last one, you're going to reach things back, chest is pressing down towards your springs. Biceps by the ears, we're going to take an inhale as you bend the elbows, you pull the chest forward towards the foot bar. Good, big exhale, you're going to press things away. You're doing four more like that, it's an inhale, we bend the elbows, pull the chest forward. Big exhale, press away, that's four. And this will be three. For two. Last one. Good. With that last one, the carriage pulls all the way in. You can untuck your feet from the shoulder blocks and then just take a child's pose, hips to heels, pressing your chest down towards the springs. Good, take a big inhale and then exhale out, let things go. Good, when you're ready, we're moving through a similar thing right there, just popping all the way up into a plank. If your hands are a little bit sweaty, give yourself a second before you try to get into this. We're going to have the hands on the foot bar, so if you feel any kind of way, just readjust, you can always drop the knees down, okay? Hands on the foot bar, you're going to step your feet back. Now, I'm gonna go right about in the center of my carriage. If you're feeling it, walk your feet back towards the shoulder blocks for sure, for sure. We're going to press that carriage out. So you, actually, I need to go up against the shoulder blocks. I lied. <laughs> We're going to press the carriage out to straight. So sometimes I'm like, ah, I don't need to. And then I'm like, never mind. You're going to inhale, press away from your foot bar, pressing the chest over your spring. Exhale, you pull things forward, shoulders right on top of the wrist. Good, we're doing four more right here. It's four. Good, you'll go for three, and they're really slow reps. Awesome, for two, are you sweaty? I am. Whoo! Good, nothing moves except the arms, last one. Awesome, everything pulls in, your chest goes over that foot bar, you're doing five reps of push-ups, inhale, bend at the elbows, lower the chest, exhale, press away, that's five, four, three, two, 
And then last one. Oh my gosh, with that last one, bring the carriage all the way in, drop your knees down, untuck your toes. Take a child's pose, hands off of the foot bar, a little roll through the wrist. Okay, take a second, take a breath. If you're feeling real sweaty, wipe the sweat off of your brow. Okay, we're changing up the springs. Good news is we made it all the way into cool down. Just pop on an additional spring. If you wanna go a medium spring or another heavy spring, that works great. And then we'll lay all the way down onto our carriage. I'm going to pop my headrest up just cause that's where I like to do feet and straps. Scoot your hips forward to the front edge of your machine and then lay it all the way down. That class felt a little bit upper body heavy, so that was a little too much for you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you might, maybe you liked it, okay? Legs come together, you're pressing, you're pressing down into the mat, not super heavy. I'm not trying to have you find an imprinted spine. I still want you to stay in neutral, but you know, just get a little bit heavier in the hips. When you're ready, if you're ready, we're going to press the feet down towards the foot bar. Don't mind my creaky machine. Inhale, lift the legs back up above your hips. Good, we exhale, press the feet down towards the foot bar. Maybe you flex your feet and then you could point the toes as you lift the legs back up above the hips. Let's just go for four more. We flex the feet lower down. We point the toes, you lift things up. Good, we'll go for three. For two. And then last one. Good, legs go up above the hips. We'll start with our leg circles, opening out to the sides of the room, circling down around, and then coming back up through center. Just for four more, we open out, circle down, around, back up through center. For three, it couldn't have been just me that got really sweaty in this class, right? <laughs> right? Please tell me yes, this is gonna be two. All week though, I've been blaming the Chicago heat. It's been like, I don't know, in the 90s, like 95, 97-ish range, which is, in my opinion, too hot for it to be the Midwest. But I don't know, this should be our last one. We open out, circle down around, and then back up through center. Good, now we go the opposite direction. Lowering down through center, we'll go out, circle up and around. For four more, we go four, Good, for three. Ah, for two. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then last one. Good. With that last one, your feet are coming up together at the top. You're going to open up through the knees, bring the soles of the feet together. And however it's comfortable for you to get right here, you can pull the legs in towards you, pressing your forearms into your legs, creating a little bit of extra um, tensegrity right there. <laughs> or you can lower your feet down towards your springs, opening up through the hips in just a different way, maybe lifting um, your lower back off of the mat if that feels okay. We'll grab onto our left side rope and the right side as well, just to hold the right side still. You'll open that left leg out towards the left side of the room. You can give your rope a little bit of a pull, taking the elbow into the rib cage, hopefully feeling a bit of a release at the inner thigh. If you feel it at your hip or really anywhere else, that's fine too. We'll inhale here and then exhale out. We pull the left leg in, same thing on the right side, opening out towards the side of the room, pulling back gently on your rope. Good, maybe feeling a, a bigger release at the inner thigh. Good, we'll take an inhale here, exhale out. You can let things go. When you're ready, pull that right leg in. And from here, we bring the knees together carefully. You're going to press the legs up to straight. Grab a hold of your ropes, pushing the heels up, pulling toes to nose. Good, and then when you're ready, let's pedal out through the legs, bending at the right knee, pushing the left heel up. You'll bend at the left knee, push the right heel up for three more. We bend the right, push the left. Bend the left, push the right. Good for two. And then last one. Good, with that last one, just take your final inhale here, filling your whole body up with air, expanding through the rib cage side to side, finding 
length and taking up space through your body. Good. Exhale out. Let it all go. And then when you're ready, we can bend the knees in towards our chest, grab a hold of your long loops. Let's go one off at a time, hang them back up onto your pegs. And from here, however you'd like to roll up, you can go ahead and come on up, take any other stretches you feel like you need, and you're all finished with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. If you did, as always, please let me know down in the comments. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video. I just get